All right, so in this video, we're going to do a little bit more complicated math and formulas to create a right triangle calculator. If you remember from school, if you took trigonometry, then you can remember your sine, cosine, and tangent. I was taught this some old hen caught a hen taking oats away. So sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse or tangent equals opposite over adjacent. What we're gonna do here is demonstrate where this might be used uh, as an example, is if, let's say you have a river or a stream that runs through here, and you have a distance along the riverbank of a hundred feet from point B to point C, and you turn an angle to point A, which is on the other side of the river, we can solve for the distance across the river. Or another example might be that uh, A to B is a building and you're 100 feet or a certain distance away from the building and you turn an angle from B up to the top of the building at A, you can solve for the height of the building. So what we've done is just laid out these formulas and I put in some input fields so angle C, which is right here, let's say that we turn up 45 degrees. You'll notice that I have a calculation field over here called radians, and that will come into play uh, here when I look at these formulas. When you're using the tangent, cosine, or sine uh, functions, you need the angle to be in radians. So we're converting the 45 into radians and that's what will be used in this formula. So let's say that we're 100 feet away from the building. And again, we're looking up at a 45 degree angle. Then our AB line, the height of our building, is going to be 100. Makes sense because if you've got a 45, a 45, and a 90, the legs will equal each other. That's because the tangent of 45 is actually 1. And one times 100 is 100. So if we happen to look up at, let's say, only 30 degrees, then the height of our building is going to be about 57.7 feet. And that's what we're doing here. So we had to re or reorganize, your, you know, yeah, reorganize this formula so that it's actually the tangent of C, angle C, times the adjacent value. So that's what the adjacent is. Right? We multiply the adjacent length, put it on the other side, and we're solving for the opposite. And that's what we get here. So if we look at the formula, it's tangent of C8 times B12. So C8 being this value here times B12, this value here, is giving us our height. I also threw in this other variable, or formula, sorry, which is the solving for the hypotenuse. So if we want to know maybe the slope distance between C and A, well, that's the simple Pythagorean theorem where it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if we look at that formula, you'll see that I'm using the square root formula. And then inside of the parentheses, I have B12 squared plus C14 squared. So B12 being the 100 plus C14, which is the calculated value for the opposite AB line, is giving me the hypotenuse, which is 115.47. I also threw this in, this other formula, which is basically just calculating the other angle. So a 30 degree angle plus a 90 degree angle minus 180 or 180 minus C plus B is going to give me 60. So again, if you don't remember, the interior angles of a triangle should add up to 180. And that's how we just use that as a formula of 180 minus B8 minus B7. You could have also done it this way where you add the two together and minus it. I could have put that in parentheses and a plus sign in between and it would have gave me the same value. And then at the same time, might as well figure out the area. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting in the area, which is the 
AB line times the BC line divided by 2. So if you think of a rectangle here, all right, it's length times width, and you divide that by 2 to get the area of the right triangle. So that's the formulas of creating this right triangle calculator inside of Microsoft Excel. Now you can take it a little bit further, and here where I solve for the adjacent BC, so if I have the opposite value, and I want to know how far away I am from the building, and I know the height of the building, and I know the angle that I've turned, I can solve for adjacent. So that's what we're doing here, is by using the same angle of 30, and if I put in my opposite, all right, so let's reset this to zero, and we put the opposite value in, let's say that we're at 50 feet high, well, then I'm 86 feet, 0.6 feet away from the building. And you can see that I'm also solving for a C line, which is this distance up here, all right? So at 50 feet, I had a 30 degree angle, my hypotenuse is going to be 100. Now you can solve for AC if you have the BC line, the adjacent line and cosine of A. So if this angle up here, so let's set this back to zero and we'll set that to zero. Let's say my angle up here was 60, calculating the radians again. And then I have to put in my BC line, which is here. So let's say I'm at 100 and therefore it calculates my hypotenuse, which is 200, All right? So again, just by manipulating the formulas, you can create a simple calculator. I know we have most calculators that you have, maybe a scientific calculator, or your phone can do sine, cosine, um, but sometimes you have a Microsoft Excel and you have to do a lot of math. Sometimes it's a little easier to look at Instead of breaking out the calculator, you can use Excel to do this. But ideally, this is just more to explain some of the formulas and how they're entered in and tying it into why a surveyor, contractor, construction surveyor, or uh, engineer might be needing to know how to calculate different parts of a uh, right angle triangle.